Welcome to The Daily for Monday, July 19th with Greg Lawless. I'm Jason Seguini. And Greg, so much going on in MLS these days. Not enough time to cover it all in The Daily. So check out Extra Time Radio, 3 to 4 p.m. Eastern Time on MLSsoccer.com. For now, we'll get to the one hot topic of debate, which is Neri Castillo mm -hmm. signing as a designated player with the Chicago Fire. And the fans are, are definitely on both sides of the fence here. Yeah, they are, Jason. They're mixed because they look at it and they say, here's a player who's had some struggles at some other clubs, and they think, well, why are you bringing him in, maybe? But on the other hand, there are plenty of play people that are out there. They know what Neri can Castillo can do as a player. They've seen him do it for Mexico. They've seen him do it for his clubs. At Olympiacos, he was a superstar in Greece. They loved him. And you know what? This is a player, I think, who's, who's really looking to get back to where he belongs as a player. Mm -hmm. He's quick. He's sharp. He knows how to get to the goal. He also knows how to create goals for his teammates. I think that's important, too. And that's what the Chicago Fire are looking to get from him. Well, a lot of uh, talk this weekend about other Mexican national teamers mm -hmm. coming to MLS. And Omar Bravo and Rafa Marquez names are thrown around left and right lately. So what's the latest on those? Well, Omar Bravo, there was, it was sort of announced over the weekend by, by some media outlets that it was a done deal. It's not a done deal. It's right. not confirmed yet. Rafa Marquez, he's in uh, conversations with the league, mm -hmm. but there's nothing there yet on what's going to happen with him. Look, all these players that are coming in, the DP signings that we've seen over the last week and, and what we will see, I think, coming in the, in the future, these are all great names, big names, and these are, these are right. players that are going to have an impact on MLS, both in the stands and on the field. You look at a player like Neri Castillo, what he can bring. Thierry Henry on the field this week. He makes his debut for the New York Red Bulls against Tottenham right. in the New York Challenge, the Barclays New York Challenge. Well, speaking of on the field, Greg, plenty of MLS action yeah. over the weekend. LA Galaxy last night on the heels of uh, Landon Donovan, Edson Buttle. Who else, defeat, right? <laughs> yeah, defeat DC United. Who got a goal from Andy Nahar in traffic? Who else? Yeah. So uh, good result for LA on the road. Yeah, a tremendous result for LA, especially because they're coming off of the week that they had when they had two losses, one in the Open Cup and one in the league. Right. And everyone was sort of thinking, well, maybe there are some chinks in the armor. There are no chinks for this LA team right now. These guys, obviously, still a very good team. Uh, Edson Buttle showing what he can do on the ball, getting in behind the defense. The first shot was stopped, but he had a nice cutback, continued and fought through to get the goal. Landon Donovan's on a penalty. A deserved call, I think, and, you know, a handball on Julius James. It's a tough one for him. But Andy Nahara's goal, I think, was the best of the bunch. Right. In traffic, he's the smallest guy on the field, and he rises up and puts it away with no problem. You know, I think D.C. is starting to show a little bit of something, even though they lost... And I like Pablo Hernandez, the new signing they brought in. Yeah, he's been very good at holding the ball and mm -hmm. moving around for D.C. So things looking, looking, uh, I guess, up in yeah, D.C. despite definitely. the loss. Uh, the other big game over the weekend, Greg, is FC Dallas ending Real Salt Lake's 10-game unbeaten streak. Um, Salt Lake playing some of the best soccer we've seen in MLS lately. But Dallas quietly, quietly has been a solid Western Conference team. Really impressive from Dallas and Breck Shea getting the goal, the, the opening goal and the winning goal right. in the game for Dallas. But I think the key for them actually was their newcomer, Milton Rodriguez. I thought he was he looked very good up top, holding the ball, turning on the defense. He was the one who took the shot that led to the rebound right. for Breck Shea's goal. And you're right, you know what? This is a good Dallas team. They have slowly put it together. Shellis Hyman has a core of a team that continues to grow and continues to develop over time. And another key for them in this game, I think it really shone through, Daniel Hernandez in the midfield and all of the work he does both defensively and transitioning into the attack. Well, we'll find out if Daniel Hernandez mm -hmm. makes the All-Star team today at 1 p.m. or any other Dallas players for that matter. The rest of the roster is announced 1 p.m. on MLSsoccer.com. At 3 o'clock on MLSsoccer.com, we'll have Extra Time Radio where we'll break down who made the team, why they made the team, mm -hmm. and, and all the other action from MLS this weekend. That's all we have for The Daily today. We'll be back tomorrow.